Hey, welcome to Info Gamer, where we create awesome video games. My name's Nathan. My name's Mark. And in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your Unity environment. So in the previous video, we downloaded Unity. Now we're going to make it so that it's easy to use and it's suited to our liking. You're going to want to follow these steps because it will make it easier to follow along in future videos. Yeah. yeah, so let's get to it. We'll show you how to do it. Now we will show you how to set up your Unity environment so that it will be an effective tool for you to create your Doodle Jump game. We will start by opening Unity. The first thing that appears is this window here, which shows all of the previous projects that you've been working on. Here you can see a couple of my projects that I've been working on. I have them blurred out because they're not complete and I don't want to spoil the surprise. They're top secret for now, but once they're done and complete, I'll make sure that I release them for you to play. And we'll notify you when once they're complete. We'll then click on this blue button that says New Project. It brings us here where we get to name our new project. We'll call it Platform Jumper. And then we get to designate where we want to save it. And I've already gone through and selected where I want to save my game, but you'll click on these three dots and then browse for what the location that you desire. Now we want to select 2D versus 3D because Doodle Jump or most platform jump, jumping games are 2D, and the one that we want to make will be 2D. So we'll say create project. If this is the first time you're using Unity, your layout won't look like this. It'll look more like this. This is the default setting for your layout. I personally don't prefer this layout. The layout I prefer to use is 2 by 3. As you get more comfortable using Unity, you can play around with the panels and put them in different positions as you see fit. But my personal preference is this 2, 3 view, and I actually like to customize this a bit. One thing that I like to do is I like to bring my project panel down and attach it to below the hierarchy panel and I like to resize it a bit. A little bit of information about the different panels. The scene view is a view of everything that's in your environment. And this is kind of your workstation where you get to play around and move things and position them. Currently our scene view is in a 2D perspective. You can deselect 2D and it brings you into a 3D view. We will use both when creating our game. The second panel is called the game view. And what the game view is, is the projection of your camera. This camera is the active camera. We can see it as we select it, the camera preview appears. And this preview is the same that we have here in the game view. The hierarchy panel is a list of everything that we have contained in the current scene. So currently we have a main camera. As we add sprites or images, those will appear in the hierarchy. Now to show you what this asset folder is, I will show you in the Explorer. So here is the location in which we created our new project. So this platform jumper folder wasn't there before we created this project. And as we click on it, we can see four more folders. The bottom three folders are folders that Unity needs to function. And we won't really touch these much in our game creating, in our game developing. But the top one is the Assets folder. This is where we will save all our needed files for our game. And this folder is the same one that we see here in the Projects panel. The final panel is what's called the inspector panel 
and in this panel we can see the details and the specs of anything that we have selected in our scene view. So currently we have the camera selected and we can see the camera's details. We can see its transform or its position, rotation, and scale in the scene and we can see a couple other details that these are default ones that come with the camera. Because we selected 2D when we were creating our project, the camera was set to orthographic. Orthographic is a two-dimensional view versus perspective, which is a three-dimensional view. And we will, go, we will use perspective in future projects when we start creating three-dimensional games. But just to show you perspective, we can see the projection of the camera is now designated by these white lines as starting at the camera and going out versus an orthographic being more like a box. This blue color is the background color which was what's showing up here in the game view. You can change this color and it changes in the game view. This is a preference and in our final version of the game we won't even be able to see this color. So it's just really what you like to work with. Next we need to change the dimensions of our camera. Currently it's set to free aspect but what we want is a vertical view in our camera. To create these dimensions we will click on this plus which is add new item We'll change fixed resolution to aspect ratio and then type in 9 oops, nine by 16 and then hit OK. We can see now that the dimensions of our camera has changed. And now that we've changed that, I'm actually feeling like changing my layout a little more. So I'll click on my game view and drag it up here. Now I can see my scene view here and my game view here and this just makes it so that I have more space being used. The last thing that we will do in this video is set up the structure of our assets folder. If you right click on the assets folder it brings up this menu. We want create folder this folder will be called sprites. The word sprite is the official terminology for a two-dimensional image in gaming. We'll create another folder and call this scripts. This is where we will save all the code that we create to make our game functional. The last folder that we will create for now, we will call Scenes. This is where we will save the various levels in our game. Now that we have all these options adjusted, we are ready to start creating our Doodle Jump game. Be sure to save your project by clicking File, Save Project. You will also want to save this scene by clicking File, Save Scene As. This will bring up options for the location in which you want to save your scene. And this is the Assets folder that is the same as here. We will then click on our Scenes folder that we created. This scene will be our main menu. Thanks for watching this video where we've shown you how to set up your Unity environment. Stay tuned for more videos and make sure you subscribe. Click the button. Click the button.